Mozarteum, el arte de escuchar, con el auspicio de Santander Río Select. Ah, oh, I love, I love talking about abstraction. This is one of my favorite words. Is music abstraction or emotion? It depends, but also listening is the most subjective of all sen senses. Something that I hear today as an abstraction, I could hear tomorrow as an emotion, because it can be everything or all or nothing or ambivalent all the time, which is why I love it so much. It's the most ephemeral art. It only lives for the moment that we've played it or heard it and then it's gone. It's so much gone, like when we eat something the food is still in us. Uh, when we feel something still the body uh, can remember this, but with music, most of all, it's gone. And maybe this is why I love it more and more the older I get, because I know this is so unique in just one moment, which is again an abstraction and an emotion. <laughs> I love in my time off to listen to the silence and then to realize that the silence becomes alive and you hear things that you never heard because you weren't open to them and you would just ignore them. I love that. This is also, by the way, how I try to get used to a new place because I play in so many places. When I arrived, just sit down, close my eyes and listen. How does Buenos Aires sound? And it sounds very different from every other city. And I love to also listen to jazz, sometimes pop music. I love to listen to old recordings. That makes me very inspired and grateful and uh, doesn't disturb my holidays, but gives me new ideas of what I want to do when I start again. <laughs>